Those of us in the department that study interaction and experience think about how subjects make meaning and how they develop through particular forms of communicative interaction, such as ritual, craft making that can occur uh, within the individual and or groups, as well as uh, for different forms of, of practice, which are, which are culturally situated. I, in particular, study the violent ends of those kinds of communicative practices and the way in which they form the subject and the way that the subject gains meaning uh, through, the, through those activities. I come from the field of communication and rhetoric, and I use those traditions to think about uh, photographic evidence and how it's used in the prosecution of domestic violence. I'm working on a book tentatively titled Legal Spectatorship, A Visual Culture of Domestic Violence, and it charts a uh, kind of a media history of how we came to use the photograph to prosecute domestic violence. I'm interested in how photographs circulate in courtrooms, who touches them, who doesn't, uh, the practices that attorneys use um, and that they develop over time from law school up to the point where they become seasoned attorneys to circulate evidence uh, to juries. I'm also interested in how witnesses alleging domestic violence, how they interact uh, with images of their injured selves. I have colleagues that are also pursuing the topic of interaction and experience, but through different traditions. For example, Benjamin Kafka is an historian um, with training in psychoanalysis who considers paperwork as a document through which emotions and feelings can begin to be generated and circulated. I have another colleague, Lily Chumley, who turns to the tradition of semiotics and the study of signs to think about how artists develop style, develop uh, characteristics in their work that you can see visually that don't just occur from them painting or sculpting, uh, from the practice of making crafts, but equally are developed in the classroom curriculum where they are being critiqued by their teachers and classmates. While these intellectual traditions constitute formal modes of analysis and methodological approach, the plurality of expertise in the department means that we aren't bound by any one of them in the approach to the study of interaction and experience.